There are three key components that are still affecting our economics and real estate right now today. Hi everybody, my name is Jerome Maldonado. I want to explain to you guys exactly what's happening in the market right now. This is officially our December market update on housing, investments, and multifamily. And so a few things that people are really concerned about is whether they should invest or whether they should hold and wait for the market to stabilize. And so today I want to give you guys a little bit of market updates as to what we're still facing. And at the end of everything that we talk about today, I want to share with you guys two investment strategies that we are currently utilizing to parlay ourselves into 2023 and 2024 and be able to position ourselves with what banks and financial institutions are most excited about lending on specifically. So at the end of the video, I'll explain to you how all of these market trends actually affect what banks are lending towards and what's gonna allow you to know what you should focus on on investments yourself. And so one of the big things is inflation that has been pounding the market and pounding us as US Americans for over the course of the last couple years. And because of that, it has halted people's buying abilities and their thresholds to be able to go out and buy single family homes, automobiles, amenities, and other stuff that they need in their households. And so one thing that's happened in the month of November, month over month, year over year, is that we've actually seen a slowdown in inflation. And so in fact, it's the, slow, it's the, it's the largest slowdown in inflation since January of 2020, uh, 2022. And so it was 0.4% of inflationary value month over month and total year over year 7.4 percent and so in spite of everything that's happening inflation wise most average years average between 1.5 to 2 percent inflationary values year over year over the course of the last couple decades so when we are still seeing a 7.4 percent year over year inflationary value it's still high but compared to last year, at over 8.9%, we are finally starting to see a little bit of a cool off in inflationary values, meaning that for investors, home buyers, fix and flippers, the materials, raw materials and goods that you see like behind me here, they're gonna slowly start coming down. We're starting to already see the break in the market. Now, is this a direct effect of what the feds are doing with interest rates in lieu of increasing interest rates, making sure that inflationary the monetary inflation slows down. Well, right now, it has definitely slowed down our housing market chain. In fact, buyers have slowed so much that right now, according to realtors.com, month over month, this is officially, the month of November has been the slowest month in, le in over four years. So right now is a great time if you're a home buyer to actually go out and buy and invest in homes in spite of high interest rates because most times than not you can buy down your mortgage rates that's for a whole different video but right now if you want to go out and you want to finance your homes let's take a look at what interest rates are at today right now today on a, on a fixed mortgage 30 years fixed rate 6.27 percent on a 20-year fixed rate 5.9% on a 15 year fixed rate, 5.62% and on a 10 year fixed rate, 6%. Now, we haven't seen interest rates this high since 2012. 2012 was the last time that we saw interest rates quite this high. And in 2017 was the next time that we saw interest rate even approach anywhere close to this, but still marginal difference between 2017 and where we are today. But if anything that we're going over right now, um, is any constitution of where we're going in the market, we've, there's been talk that interest rates are gonna come down on December 14th, which is just a couple days away at the time that we're recording this video. If you're watching this video post December 14th, then you will already have the conclusion of what the feds are doing in regards to interest rates. Now, the third thing that is affecting the real estate market right now, in spite of everything that's going on, is this recession, quote unquote, this recessionary market. As soon as the recessionary market is, is deployed out into the market freely and the mainstream media gets a hold of it, it affects how home buyers buy homes, it affects how end users spend money, it affects how our general population across the United States goes out and utilizes entertainment, raw goods and materials, homes, cars, and everything else 
that we utilize on a day in day out basis. In fact, our own construction company right now in the residential sector, back in October, I told our sales reps, I said, look guys, this is not the time to go out and sell residential jobs. Whatever residential jobs go on, out, come in and we market, we'll take advantage of utilizing them as bottom line capital towards our revenue for our annual basis. But if we focus on that because of what's happened historically in recessionary markets, we will fail in comparison to our end year results financially because home buyers are not spending right now. Hence, we had to go off and start marketing more commercial sales to be able to offset the, the variance of what people aren't spending in the residential sector, but still is being spent by our, our federal government, contractual agreements on our commercial basis and projects just like this big multifamily apartment complex of 295 doors right behind me. And so look, ladies and gentlemen, those three factors, they're gonna, they're, they come and they're here today and they will go. Recession, no recession, high interest rates, no high interest rates, inflation, lack of, of inflation, Ladies and gentlemen, all of those, if you look at historically, over the last 50 years, they come, they go, and then they disappear. But there's two items that I wanted to talk to you about in this video today that will be around for ongoing of the next decade and in excess thereof. And so understand that one is the lack of rooftops that are needed across the United States right now. We are 6.8 million rooftops short of where we need to be. 2.8 million of which are of affordable housing, which is the second market sector that we are going into right now. And we've been focusing on predominantly over the last four years because we know there's a massive need for affordable housing. Now look, ladies and gentlemen, where there's a massive need, the banks want to capitalize on this. And so for you investors, one of the main focuses that you should be focusing on is what financial institutions are looking at as one of their primary areas of investment. Banks are businesses, just like any other business out there. You go to Domino's and you order a pizza, their business is to serve you pizza and get revenue for that. Banks are in the money business. They go out, they get money, and they sell it back to you. Our US Federal Reserve rate right now is at four, is at 3.75 to 4%, which is the rate that money has to be paid back to the US Federal Reserve. Now, what's ironic about this is that there was no Federal Reserve pre-1912. Um, pre and so when the Federal Reserve started printing money and lending it to our, bank, our, our central banking system and to our federal government, they did it at a rate and a percentage rate that they had to pay back to the Federal Reserve. And so, ladies and gentlemen, guess when U.S. income taxes were implemented? in 1913, the year after, in order to pay back this fee that the Federal Reserve was charging to our federal government to go out there and print money for us on our behalf. Non-constitutional, but that's a whole different subject. So understand, the banks are in the business of printing money. Hence, when they're lending money, they want to lend on an asset class that is predominantly attractive to them for larger returns. One of them being multifamily apartment complexes like the one you see right behind me here of 295 doors. That's why we're going out and we're building institutional assets of over 100, doors, 100 units or more throughout the Southwest and West Coast regions. And this is a market sector, not just in those areas, but nationwide nationwide. And so if you're looking at this video saying, Jerome, I can't build 295 units. It's okay. 10 units, five units, 20 units, whatever it is, you're still going out and making a big difference on what is needed as far as rooftops across the United States. Now, the other market sector that's predominantly needed is upper median homes. And it is what we call the sweet spot in real estate for largest profitability as a builder to go out and retain six-figure profits on every single unit. So in spite of going out and having just affordable housing, being able to service a market sector that is extremely lucrative and is the third area that gets hit in recessionary market, second behind luxury assets, secondary home market, million dollar homes, behind the first and number one asset class that gets hit predominantly in a recessionary market, which is the median home market any home that's under $400,000. So ladies and gentlemen, what you should be focusing your energy on right now if you're buying pre-existing assets is the asset class is getting hit predominantly, which is going to be that under $400,000 mark if you wanna buy 
and you want to be able to retain those assets, renovate them and resell them when the market comes up in a value out sector, that's a great market sector to invest in. Or you can go out and do what I love doing, which is buying raw dirt, building houses and generating large six figure profits on every single house. That market sector is one that is the most predominant area that we build in and we call it our sweet spot for largest profitability. So ladies and gentlemen, we're seeing a little bit of fresh air and a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel in regards to interest rates, inflation, and ladies and gentlemen, there is always a means for investment in spite of what's happening in this recessionary market to make large profits. Pay attention and for more content just like this, click below, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I look forward to seeing you next time.